Hey everyone, welcome back to Heart Key Creations. I'm Heather and I'm gonna make some cold process soap today. I uh, have my oils all set. It's palm oil, safflower oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. My safflower oil was sitting in some coffee grounds. Well, coffee grounds were sitting in my safflower oil. So it's infused with the coffee, but there are no grounds in, in here. I am using activated charcoal today and I put a little bit of water in there so that it wouldn't puff up on me every time I moved it. And my lye is mixed with beer. And um, I have some goat's milk and some colonial oatmeal. And we're gonna try and do a little, a little something different. I'm going to use half of, well, a little different for me. I'm going to use only half of the batter in with the activated charcoal and whatever color this is naturally is going to get put in the mold for the rest of it. My oil is at about 100 degrees right now and, no, actually my oil is at 110. My lye is at 100 degrees right now. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to just stick that in my little thing over there. I'm actually gonna put this in the sink because it has the lye on it. And then I'm going to put my little stick blender in here and try and burp some of that out, but it doesn't look like anything's gonna burp out because I'm not high enough, I guess. At least not yet. And I'll pour it down my stick to avoid as much air as possible. And the beer, if you are using beer, please remember to make sure that it is flat, that there's no carbonation left in it if you're using that as your liquid. I also had deducted the amount of beer for my oatmeal base also and to mix with my goat's milk so that it's two ounces of each so there's four ounces deducted from my total water content all right time to stick blend Okay, so I am at a trace, and that is right where I'm going to leave it because, well, I don't know how this is going to act. <laughs> so that's the joy of being new to soap making and having new recipes to try out and stuff. As uh, you just, it's all an experiment the first time you do it, right? Um, so I. I'm going to add in, actually, I'm going to add in my colloidal oatmeal first. I did grind up, this is like three tablespoons of oatmeal. It's a, this is a three pound batch of soap. And so I did grind up two of the tablespoons of the oatmeal very very fine and left one tablespoon less fine um, I've gotten some decent feedback on my the exfoliation on my bars of soap my first bars of soap that I did which I actually felt like were a little too scratchy for me personally but my daughter and a customer have raved about how much they love the exfoliation on in them so I think that's awesome so I um, decided to compromise and not fine ground everything but fine ground more of of it you know I, I like to use my soap too so I thought if I compromised a little bit that might be helpful <laughs> all right so we're gonna get rid of these and we're gonna Mix that together really well again. Okay, I'm 
Well, that didn't seize, but wow, it is a definitely a thick trace. I am not going to have time, much time to work with this. So, yeah. Yeah. Better move it. I forgot my fragrance oil. How do you like that? Yes, I'm actually going to use some fragrance oil. I didn't even measure it out. I'm such a dunce. So I need an ounce and a half for the three pound batch. Well, look, I didn't even have to measure that out. I could have just done the whole thing. This is actually not quite an ounce and a half, but that's okay. Right, I don't want to use that anymore because it is clearly getting wicked, clearly getting very thick, but I, my fragrance oil definitely was not uh, mixed all the way in there. So do half of this and half of it. Plain. I know you can't see me anymore. I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see me now. Yep, this is not, I'm not quick enough. Actually, I think that I should have soaked a little bit cooler. Should have been a little more patient. That's why hot pasta soap is so appealing to me because I don't have to be patient. However, this is the results that I was getting with the hot pasta soap, so you don't have a lot of time to work with it. And you don't have a lot of time to work with this either. All right, sorry guys, my battery was dying, and yep, and now I can't get the phone to set up. And you know, I as if I had time to play with the soap to begin with, right? Okay, so yeah, this will be very not, <laughs> not as good as I was hoping. Um, but, so I'm mixing in the, oh my goodness, I had taken off my gloves and now I didn't put any back on. Always wear gloves, people, wear gloves. This soap still has active lye in it and it's going to burn me if I get it on me. Yes, it is, and it's not fun. Yep. No, all right, I guess it loosened back up as I was stirring, so I'm getting gloves. It is not the horrible consistency that I was hoping for, and when you see my mold, you'll understand why this is making me sad. Very, very sad. I had a surprise planned for you all, but I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm going to go grab my mold. So I was hoping to be able to pour it over top of that and get this cool design, but I think, what, and I think what I may have to do is kind of plop it in there and, uh, yeah, I made up these embeds earlier and I thought 
this would be a cool use for them. But as usual, first time recipes, and I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. We're just going to go with I don't know what I'm doing because that sounds about right, honestly. So, and actually, I think that I may save or not use or something the other half in this. You may use it in just another mold, I don't know. So this only has like a tablespoon and a half of the charcoal in it because I was afraid to go too heavy with the charcoal. Yeah, it's my first time using it. So it seemed smart, but it's more of a gray color than I anticipated. Kind of forgot to put those back in, didn't I? And as usual, I'm going with a on a wing and a prayer here, hoping that uh, these are positioned correctly because you know I didn't measure anything. So yeah. And obviously a three pound batch with the embeds was too big anyway. I may do a little drop in there though uh, on the top and kind of swirl it with the other half of, not the other half obviously, but some of the other half of the mixture. If it fits, it may not fit. I mean, I'm over the top of this as it is, so I should probably not be over the top. On the floor we go. Once I pounded it down, there's a little bit more room in there. That embed is like coming out. Get back in there. We don't want to see you yet. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. All right, that's the end of that soap. I will see you tomorrow. So this is what I did with the other half of the recipe, the other batch of soap, half of the batch of soap. And um, I just have to laugh because it actually, you can see it, 
it's in gel phase right now. It actually was going through gel phase in the bowl. Like, uh, before I, I took it out of the bowl, I stirred it up and it was, um, yeah, going through gel phase already in the bowl. So this soap should be interesting. I can't wait to see how it turns out tomorrow. See you then. It's about 12 hours after the molding of the soaps from last night and the one that gelled in the bowl while I was molding up the other, the charcoal base one, um, that mold is ready now. I can cut up, but the charcoal base is not ready. Definitely not ready. Very soft. I tried to run an, a knife around the edge just to check it. And um, no, it came out. I didn't even run the knife around the whole edge. It was very, very, uh, I could tell it just was very, very soft. It was not, not going to unmold well if I took it out then. So I'm just doing this one now and we'll do the other one later. But this is this is the cat. We had this cute little cat mold that I wanted to give a try and um, yeah this is how it came out. It is cute. I'm not sure what the discoloration is up on top but that's okay. It's very, very cute. I also did with the rest of them, with the rest of that batter, a little owl and some diamond embeds. And I had enough to do a little bit of the charcoal mixed in here so I kind of took two two molds and just swirled it around in there in the middle with the rectangle and the square yeah we'll be back to show you the rest of it okay so we're back and this lovely bar of ours is ready to be cut. How's that for different? So this is the charcoal, charcoal bore activated charcoal. I think that I'm going to use the wavies for the rest of it because it's definitely different but I think I'd like to uh, have a little little extra something here in it. You see the activated charcoal did not get mixed in all the way. I started panicking and was not very uh, thorough with it. That is it. So I don't think that's too bad for not having measured out and placing exactly, measured out exactly where placing is supposed to go, or was going, I should say. Um, I only have 
a bar or two that the design is not equal on both sides. So I'm not going to complain about that and we'll see if anybody else does. All right, guys, that's all for today. I will see you next time. Hey, have you subscribed yet? I do four new videos a week and I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that you don't miss a thing. I also offer coloring pages and traceables on my Patreon and so much more. You can follow me on Instagram. Just look up Heart Key Creations. I'll see you next time.